This presentation shares the insect collection database created by Group 2 for SLIS 770. The team members involved were Karen Burton, Trinity Foreman, and Anu Priya Roy. This database was created to help organize and promote efficient access to Karen Burton's personal insect collection. The database will help Karen identify proper specimen to support the frequent requests to display specimen in educational settings, while preserving their quality. The initial audience for this database is Karen Burton and the educators she supports, but the structure can be adapted and used by many other audiences. Other organizations with fragile biological collections could use the form to support efficient non-formal education. The insect-specific content management could also support the work of professional organizations interested in tracking the details of insects, including the Entomology Society of America, the National Pest Management Association, the European and Mediterranean Plant Protection Organization, the North American Coalition for Insect Agriculture, and the Structural Pest Control Regulatory Officials and the American Pest Control Association. The database has the following schema with five main tables connecting through their foreign and primary keys. The tables included are a person table recording information on the collector of the insect with person ID as the primary key. The location table records information on where the specimen was collected with location ID as a primary key. The taxonomy table connects many of the tables with the corresponding IDs, the date of collection, and holds the naming information of the specimen. This table has spec ID, short for specimen ID, as a primary key. The locomotion table collects information on how the insect move with a locomotion ID as the primary key. And the habitat table records the information on the expected habitat of the insect with a primary key of habitat ID. The following entity relationship diagram shows the relationship of the five entities and all of their major attributes. The taxonomy entity exists in a many-to-one relationship with all the other entities. This is the display of the relationships within Microsoft Access, connecting the multiple foreign keys held in the taxonomy table with each table. The habitat table is designed in the following manner with the habitat ID being expressed by a unique integer number and the description and camouflage as attributes are expressed by a short text no greater than 20 characters. The habitat ID is the only required attribute as well as the only index attribute. This is a data sheet view for the same table showing the three digit unique habitat ID coupled with a description of the habitat and a camouflage method involved. This is the design view of the location table with the location ID as the primary key. The location ID has no duplicates and is expressed by a number. The state and county attributes are expressed by up to 20 characters of text and neither are required. The city and street attributes are also not required and are expressed by up to 30 characters of text. This is the data sheet view of the location table showing the four digit location ID. You can see that only some of the records have the city attribute, but the street and county have been included in each record. This is the design view of the locomotion table. Locomotion ID is the primary key with no duplicates and is expressed by a number. Description and body parts used are both expressed by text entry no longer than 20 characters and they are not required. This is the data sheet view for the locomotion table. You can see the unique four digit number for each entry and the description holding information on how they move with body parts used indicating what part of their body is used for the motion. This is the design view of the person table, showing the person ID as a number that is not repeated and the first initial, middle initial, and last name all being expressed by short text under 20 characters long. This table is used for recording information on the person who collected the specimen. This is the data sheet view of the person, showing the unique number for each person and the corresponding name of the individual. The taxonomy table holds the greatest number of attributes. Spec ID is the primary key and is a unique number. Person ID, location ID, habitat ID, and locomotion ID are all foreign keys, are indexed, may have duplicates, and are represented by numbers. The class, order, family, and common name attributes are all short text entries, no greater than 20 characters. None of these are required. Date collected is a date, time, data type, and short form for the calendar day of the collection. This is the datasheet view of the taxonomy table. 
You can see how this table is useful in connecting the specific name and ID number for the specimen to the proper foreign keys of other tables. This is the first query design for the database. This design view shows that by using the taxonomy table only, the query will count all the specimen with the Cleoleptera order. This order is more commonly referred to as beetles. The data sheet view shows that only two of the specimen are of the Cleoleptera order, or beetles. The second query involves two connected queries and two tables. In order to find the common name of specimen that live in an aquatic habitat, first, habitat table is set to show all habitat IDs for the habitat description aquatic. Then, the other query uses that output and connects the found habitat ID to the taxonomy table and only displays the related common name. The habitat ID for aquatic insects is shown here in the first data sheet to be 110, and the answer to the intended question is in the next data sheet, with the common name of the aquatic insect in the collection being the bag swimmer. Query number four looks to find the number of specimen collected on July 21, 2001. Only the taxonomy table is used, with the instructions to count all of the numbers of spec ID entries for the attribute of date collected matching the said date. Only the count is set to view. The resulting output shows that only two specimen were collected on July 21, 2001. The fifth query looks to discover the most recent specimen collected. In order to do this, two connected queries are used using only the taxonomy table. The first query is set to bring back the maximum value for the date collected in the taxonomy table. The second query brings back the spec ID, order, family, and common name for the, that specimen with the date hidden. The following output shows that the date for the most recently collected item is July 8, 2004, and the final data sheet shows the one specimen collected on that date. The sixth query is looking to identify the person who collected specimen that only move using their legs. To do this, three queries are connected using three tables. The first step is getting the locomotion ID for all specimen with the body parts used attribute of all legs. This output is used in the taxonomy table Next, to determine the corresponding person ID, the person table is in search, the first initial and last name of the said person ID. The following output shows the locomotion ID that was pulled first, the person ID is found in the taxonomy table, and the first initial and last name for each person collecting insects that move only using their legs. The seventh query looks to find the naming details associated with all specimen collected in Pickens County. To do this, two tables are used and two connected queries. First, the location table is used to identify the location ID for Pickens County. This output is used in the taxonomy table and is set to display the common name, family, and order of those specimen. All of the corresponding location ID codes for specimen collected in Pickens County is displayed in the first output screen, and the final output screen shows all of the common name, family, and order details for each specimen collected. Query 8 looks to find an ordered list of the specimen collected in Pickens County. This query uses both the location table and the taxonomy table. The query sets only the spec ID and the common name to show, with the list ordered in ascending order by the spec ID. The output for query 8 is organized with the spec ID increasing and shows the common name for each specimen found in Pickens County. The ninth query uses three tables to find a list of people who collected all specimen living around the water. To do this, the first initial, middle name, and last name are all displayed from the person table for records with description attribute in the habitat table for around water. The taxonomy table is then used to connect the information from the other two tables.